What's up? This is Kim Horcher for the Red Carpet Report. We're here at the Paley Center for the premiere of Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2, the animated adaptation of the Frank Miller classic. We've got the creators and Batman himself. Hi, Kim. I'm Jay. Good to meet you. Where um, are you from? We're from Mingle Media TV. Very cool. I will check it out. <laughs> I'll everybody on the website. <laughs> um, so this, this version of Batman has a very decidedly darker, dirtier feel. And you did put a few things in there that were cool for people, throwbacks to the old comics. Yes. Can you talk about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, one thing with this adaptation I wanted to do is, you know, set it in the 80s, but like kind of future version of the 80s, which is what the comic is set. But at the same time, add a little Easter eggs for the fans who... Uh, who love Batman and, and, and really like the source material. So, of course, you know, I put the comic books in there. Uh, have you seen part two yet? Okay, so I saw the tunnel of love scene. Okay, there's a tunnel of love scene. There are actually uh, a few. I'll, I'll tell you one. There's a scene there where you'll see the '89 Batman, uh, Batmobile, that you'll see the the old Tim Burton. I added that in there. There's a lot of Easter eggs. And what I want to do is people who buy the DVD or the Blu-ray when they watch parts one and two, and if they watch frame by frame, they'll be able to see like a few things that they never picked up before. Very cool. So you've worked on a lot of DC animation. What would you, if you had to pick, what would be your favorite? Uh, I think Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> that would definitely be my favorite. <laughs> you know what's funny is that uh, my favorite, everybody always asks me, like, what's your favorite one? And it's, I'm always telling them it's the one that I'm currently working on, because I always want to make the next movie better than my last. So the one after Dark Knight's going to be hard, a uh, hard, uh, tough act to follow, but I always want to make each one better, you know, because to me, uh, as a filmmaker, I want to try to push myself to just get better as time goes on. Well, that's a good commitment. Uh, may I ask, do you have any idea of what is next? Um, I think we already announced that there's a Flashpoint, I don't know, the exact title that we're doing um, and then the one that I'm working on right now I can't say because it's still top secret yeah but you know you can see my other work I worked on Man of Steel with Zack Snyder so that's coming out in uh, June so I hope you guys like that that's some good stuff there so how is this version of Batman why is he your your favorite your new favorite uh, I think Batman is great in the sense that he's just a human being you know he's he doesn't have a ring the magic ring that gives him powers he's not an alien that gives him superpowers like he's just the pinnacle of human perfection you know, with training and being smart and using his wits I think that's what like a lot of people can kind of empathize with and really like about him is that he's just a man and we can all aspire to be Batman I know I do <laughs> all right well thanks so much nice meeting you and I will catch that thanks for watching for more interviews be sure to subscribe and if you like the video like it. Makes sense. You can click it anytime now. I'll wait. <laughs>